And where we ended off is where you want to change uh, any of the preset um, things that were given to you in iMovie. So if I wanted to change who this was directed by, I double click on this area and then I can retype. Maybe I, you know, put um, someone else's name in there or I change it to, you know, um, a whole group. Now it's going to adjust um, sizing automatically to the frame. There are some other features up here as far as changing the text um, that you can use, different things of that nature, and you can kind of go across and it tells you what those are. It does have noise reduction. If you have a lot of background noise, you can reduce that. How fast your video is playing as far as like speed, speed up, slow down, things of that nature. Um, so there's a lot of effects up there that you're welcome to you know, play around with and use. Um, that are going to change. So I can do whatever I need to. I can take that away and um, put thank you. Maybe I thank you for watching. Um, so I can do whatever I need to do to put at the end now. If I decide that that is showing up for too long, so when I play that, it's showing up for quite a while on my screen. Notice it's over to the side, but it's showing up for quite a while. So maybe I don't want that to show up for 3.9 seconds as it shows me here. So again, I can make that smaller by just dragging it to a smaller size and it shows me how long that will be. Now notice as I add more things, my video is getting longer and it shows me here that it's now 7 seconds. Now this transition that we added a while ago, let's go back and look at that. If we add a different transition, one that maybe is more severe, mosaics are definitely a cool transition. Um, if we put that there and we want to preview, if we play, you can see the definite transition. Now you can also make those transitions longer. There are a second right now, but you can do the same thing by clicking on them and dragging them as well. If you decide you don't like something, maybe you didn't want something in there, it's just a matter of highlighting here and hitting delete key. So the delete key automatically takes it away. Now the nice thing is it's not gone from your library. It's still in your library here. You can add it back. Um, if you delete it here, however, they're gone. Um, you have to recreate those. So you want to make sure that um, you're really sure before you delete here that you're ready to get rid of things. Now another uh, section is the titles. Now since we picked the theme, neon theme, these preset titles go in for us. Now we can always override that. So let's say we want scrolling credits. That's something a lot of people like at the end if you're working with the group. Um, you can do scrolling credits and you can kind of run across it and see kind of what it would look like. So let's say I want that in my movie. I drag it down and I can put it wherever I'd like. Now right now it's 10 seconds. Notice the box that popped up. It wants me um, to tell me that they have automatic titles and transitions turned on. It's turned on because of the theme that I picked. So if I want to ha overrule that and put something in that's not part of that theme, I can. I just have to turn off that automatic content. That just gives me a little bit more control. Um, you know, you can still have the theme part and have control. So again, I can still change the names here if I need to. I can again shorten the time. If I decide I don't like it, I can highlight it and delete it. Now you can also include sound effects. Sound effects are preset into iMovie. There's all kinds of sound effects. Um, you can pre-listen to them here, and if you like them, then you can drag them in. Now, it tells you how long that sound effect is at the top. You can, of course, the same as always, drag it um, down into your um, group. It's there, very small. It usually goes at the bottom. If I want to make it longer, because it's a very short area, I can do that the same way as I do a clip or anything else. I can make it longer. Now one final thing that I'll show you before we conclude is if I have an area inside a video clip that I made and I messed up and I don't want it, maybe if it's at the end, I can also shrink up um, that as well and it will disappear. So if I'm at the end and I'm reaching for the computer to turn off my recording device, I don't want that to be seen. I can take and shorten up uh, the same way I do with anything else. Just get those double hit and shorten up that piece so then that no longer shows. If I have something that I need to have longer, I can also stretch it out and make things slower. Now you can't manipulate that as much with um, certain video or it messes up how your voice matches with your movements of your mouth. 
so then you look kind of weird. Now, if you do a clip and you start here and everything's going great and then all of a sudden something walks through your frame and you don't want them there and it's not going to mess up anything or maybe you say something that you don't want to say and you want that part cut out and it's in the middle of the clip, instead of recording over again, you can put wherever you want to, to chop that in half and you two finger click with your mouse and a box will appear. I'm not sure exactly where her two finger clicking is on her computer. Um, and you can split, there it goes, you can um, split the clip. So a menu pops up and you can split the clip. And when you split the clip, it puts it into two. Notice now there's a little spot between it. Now I can take and manipulate them apart and get rid of an area that I don't want. Or, you know, if I wanted this whole section and not this one, I can then cut this section out by deleting it and I'm left with just the one little part. So there's a lot of things I can do to manipulate that takes a little bit more advanced um, playing around with to learn. Uh, but these are the basics of how to get started. Uh, remember when you're finished manipulating and doing all that you want to in your movie, go back and watch your movie um, in the preview set. You can make this full screen and watch it too. Watch it in the preview set. Make sure it's exactly what you want before you finalize your movie. Once it's finalized, you can't go back and manipulate it. Um, there's another video that shows you how to finalize. Um, again, it just in the file um, share area. So when we file share, uh, then we'll file it as a file. And when we do that, it asks us to make sure we name it. The screen comes up, and we always want to save it at a lower resolution, the 854. So it doesn't take up as much space as you'll notice it's 6 megabytes right now because it's at a high level. We want to go down to a lower level knocks it down to 1.56. It's much more uh, comparable in our computers. And then we can change our quality to medium and that's shown in the how to confirm and then we hit the next and it will save it to our desktop. We tell it where to save it. Um, that's all for now. If you have any other questions please let me know and I'll be glad to assist you. But have fun seeing what you can create.